So when you're new to the Happy Daylight and you're consuming content of this game in any way, Twitch, YouTube, or maybe just through the in-game chat, you will come across certain DBD terms or lingo that will make you wonder what the F it means. And sometimes you're too afraid or too embarrassed to ask what it means. And if that's the case, don't worry, I gotcha, because in today's video, we're gonna go over every DBD term that I can remember, and I will explain to you what they mean. But before we get started, hello, welcome in or welcome back. My name is Sharon and I'm a legacy free beta player Nia main with 9,000 hours in Dead by Daylight. I stream DVD on twitch.tv slash Sharon and I upload consistently on this YouTube channel with lots of different DVD content. I hope you will enjoy your stay and let's get started with the video. let's get right into the terms first up camping there are many variations to camping like camping proximity camping face camping hook camping gen camping totem camping basement camping door camping and you name it basically what all this means is that the killer is staying very close to a specific area to protect it from survivors so they can't interact with it or having a harder time doing so for example, when you're trying to unhook your fellow survivor, cleanse a hex totem, or more. Another term used for this behavior is called patrolling. The only camping-like term that isn't the way how I just explained it is face camping. Face camping means that the killer is standing still in front of the hook survivor and they're not moving. Next up, slugging. Slugging means that the killer is leaving the survivor on the ground after downing them. This is used with both a strategic mind and sometimes just to be an a-hole. Tunneling, not to be mistaken with tunnel vision. Now, a lot of people, even experienced players, get this wrong. Tunneling means that the killer is going after the person who got unhooked. He can do this by camping, leaving the hook and coming back, or even leaving a chase from a different survivor to come back to hunt you instead. What tunneling isn't is when a killer is just chasing you and not going for anyone else without you being hooked. We consider this tunnel vision instead. Also, if the killer is busy with someone else after you get unhooked, hooks them and just finds you again, this is once again not tunneling. That is just you being unlucky and unfortunate in a place that you were located at. Regenning. Now, when you have one generator left to do, there are only three generators left on the map. And if you're not careful as a survivor, you will free gen yourself. Which means the last three generators are super close to each other. Which makes it easier for killers to patrol and control the game. And makes it harder for you to fix generators. Killers can also purposely set this up. Where they just don't leave the area with free generators set up. But that's more rare. If you want to know how to not free gen yourself as a survivor, I made a guide which I will link on the top of the screen. So make sure to check it out. 99ing. 99ing is a survivor strat. It means that instead of completing a specific action, you leave it at 99% of its progress. Think about 99ing a door so it doesn't proc the endgame collapse timer. Or 99ing your healing so you can use that hard. This is used for various strats and reasons. Body blocking. Body blocking is using your character's model collision. Body blocking is used in many ways. You can body block for a survivor, meaning you take a hit for them when they're about to get hit by the killer. You can body block the killer from going somewhere or stopping them from hooking someone. You can also body block a fellow survivor by accident, by standing or running somewhere they wanted to go. This is similar to sandbagging. Sandbagging. Sandbagging is kind of the same term as the body blocking the survivor from going the same direction. It's kind of the same. You're in their way of moving, you are, you know, potentially doing this on purpose, by accident. Um, you're just, you know, sandbagging them to get them hit by the killers, to not let them go into any directions. Once again, basically the same as the last body block option. Moonwalking. It's kind of hard to describe what moonwalking is, so I will include some material with this example. But it's basically a skill that many older or more experienced people have developed when you use your mouse and keyboard and fingers to run a sort of backwards way. I don't know, I can't do it. It doesn't really benefit the game. It just kind of looks cool and that's that's all. That's the only reason most people do it. 
D. Dumtech, which is you stunning the killer, vaulting the pallet, and then hiding inside of the killer's model. The CJ tech, which is basically a flashlight save, but then a little bit more practice. Like if a survivor is down near a pallet, you stun the killer, vault over the pallet, and then the killer will start picking up the survivor instead of breaking the pallet. And this is when you vault backwards and you do a flashlight save. And if you time it correctly, you save the person off the shoulder. Hooked rushing. When survivors try to unhook just barely after you hook the survivor. Looping, referring to the most used playstyle of most survivors. Basically means you're looping around one pallet, one window, or one specific towel, and you stay there until you no longer can be there, when you've used everything or everything is blocked up. Teabagging, when survivors consistently press control up and down. This can also be done towards fellow survivors to say hello. BMing. It stands for bad manners, which everyone has their own sets of rules in DBD, what they consider as BMing. Teabagging is considered BMing, also flashlight BMing, which is a survivor just consistently clicking their flashlight at you. It just depends on your own sets of rules. Pre-dropping. This is referring to survivors pre-dropping pallets when the killer isn't super close to the pallet, so it has no chance to stun the killer. This is often used to gain distance from the killer. The polar opposite of this is pallet camping, which means the survivor is just standing still behind the pallet, waiting for the killer to either walk through or swing through, guaranteeing a stun. Holding W, or the W strategy, referring to a survivor who is not really looping areas or mind gaming, but just holding W to run as far away as possible. And those were all the terms that I remember in this game. Perhaps I missed a few, and if I did, feel free to leave them down below in the comment section. But I hope that this will help you as a newer player in DBD to get more accustomed to the terms and feel less of a, you know, less of a stranger into this game. I hope you will enjoy your DBD experience. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you liked the video. As per usual, I'm gonna make sure to ask you guys to do everything that every YouTuber always asks you to do. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this YouTube channel. And see y'all next time. Bye bye!